guys, it's Marianne, and this tutorial is going to be my interpretation or recreation of Carrie Underwood's makeup in her brand new music video, Temporary Home. I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to it, so if you want to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have already primed, well, yeah, I already primed my eye with um, Urban Decay's um, primer potion. It's just the little one that comes with the palette. Um, and then on top of that, I put Max Painterly Pain Pot, which I use basically all the time in almost every tutorial. Um, it's just the kind of skin tone color, um, just as a base. So first I'm going to take just a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just cleaning it off a little bit. And I'm going to take the color Vorpal, which is, oh, this is going to be difficult, but let me see how we can do this. Where is Warpal is the gray color. So I hope you guys can see that. It's the gray color right there. Um, obviously if you don't have this palette, you can use any kind of um light gray color um by MAC or, you know, by any different kind of brand of makeup. Um so I'm gonna get that on my brush, tap off any excess. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. You're not going to go up too far into the crease. Um, I would go up, just up underneath the crease. That should be good. If you have to go back for more, um, Obviously, like with your brush, go back for more. I always, I rather build up color instead of putting too much color on at first. So that's why sometimes I'm kind of always going back into the eyeshadow because um, I tap off most of it um, and I just kind of build the color up to the you know intensity that I want it to be. The next color I'm going to go in with, and I'm actually going to use um, just like a blending brush, any kind of round blending brush, and I am going to go in with, where is it, it was um, Mushroom, and it is this color right here, it's kind of, I hope, wait. Um, if I watch this and I see that um, you guys can't see the colors that I'm pointing to, then I'll just put a link in the sidebar. Um, it's just kind of a brownish gray color. It's this color right here that I'm tapping by. Kind of like, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird, it's a hard color to describe. I, it's more brown than anything, but it has, I think it has a little bit of gray to it. So I'm going to take that, and what I'm going to do is put that um, on the outer half of my lid. And I'm going to kind of go into a crease with it. And you're not going to see too much of a big difference with this on top of the Vorpal. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of depth. So you can definitely go up to the crease with that and just go up to the middle of your lid. Kind of do like the outer V shape. Like I said, you're not going to see really a huge difference because I, I think Vorpal and um, Mushroom, they don't look the same, but I think they're pretty similar when you put them on, in my opinion anyway. Of course, it depends on how heavy of a hand you're going to use with them. And again, you can play up the intensity of the colors and get more of a, you know, color difference. Okay. Now, the next color I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with my MAC um, 226. And I'm going to go in with Mad Hatter, which is um, just a dark brown, which is right there. 
hope you guys can see that. Me. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Give me one second. My dog had plastic in her mouth, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry guys. My dog had plastic in her mouth, and I didn't want her to like swallow it. So, um, okay, so we're gonna go in with Max 226. Any kind of blending brush will do. That you know, it has a little bit like it kind of tape. I don't know if tapers is the right word. Kind of like points at the end almost. And now this, we're going to do basically like the outer V and we're going to go in over wherever we put the color mushroom. So we're going to go into the crease, kind of do the outer V thing. Like I said, we're going to go right over where we put the mushroom. Gonna blend that into the warble, the gray. And again, you can play up the intensity. I'm sure you guys can see Princess in the background trying to rip the pictures off the wall that she has already successfully done, like half of them. So, which is why I'm not freaking out completely right now because I've taken down. She's such a nut. And then you can definitely um, make this a more defined line if you want around the edges. I'm just going to kind of do it kind of in like a circular motion because I, I don't want, you know, the colors are pretty dramatic once you put the brown, the um, Mad Hatter. So I don't want to have too much of a sharp line. And then obviously just blend the colors. You are going to get a bit of fallout with this palette because most of the colors do have a lot of shimmer or glitter to them, but obviously at the end you can clean that up. And now I'm basically just going to, I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to put, um, actually, I just, I'll put this part in because I'm going to take a small brush like this. And I'm going to go in with Jabberwocky. I don't know why I say we're going to go in. Like, that doesn't make sense. Um, with Jabberwocky, which is the really, really dark, dark, I, well, obviously it's dark. It's really black with um, some shimmer to it. And I'm going to put that on the tip of the brush. This is seriously like the blackest black eyeshadow I have ever seen in my life. It's ridiculous. Um, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to um, line my lash line with that. Obviously not your waterline. Oh, I think I'm blocking those out. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to do my eyeliner, mascara, and all that. And when I come back, I'll let you guys know everything that I use. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm seriously about to go over the 10-minute mark. So this is going to go kind of quick. quick. So if it, I'm going fast or talking fast, I'm sorry. I'll put everything I use in the sidebar. Um, for my upper um, lash line, I use MAC Fluid Line in Black Track, which is the black. And on top of that, I just use some of the Jabberwocky eyeshadow from the palette. Um, on my cheeks, I have Coralista by Benefit, because that's kind of the closest to a peach color that I have. On my lips, for lip liner, I have Annabelle's Lip Liner in Demure. Um, then I put Rimmel's Airy Fairy. And then on top of that, I just put a little bit of Elf Liquid Lipstick in Pink Kiss, which is that color right there. 
Um, so yeah, I'll put everything that I use in the sidebar because I know this is going really fast, but I don't want to go over the 10 minute mark. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's not exactly, you know, a replica from her video, but it's my interpretation of it, and that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.